this is into the fire. I'd like to welcome to my first ever return guest, one of my favourite guys and my wingman role model, Gold Coast Jeremy Sharp. Well, nice. Yeah, mate. Good to see you. I'll see you again. Now, first things first. How is Gold Coast life? Have you left the beach yet since being off on break? Off on break. I don't think I have, mate. I'm currently peeling all, all like all over my body, so it's a good place to be. It is. But um, yeah, the Gold Coast is good. Yeah, it sounds like a good place. Well, what a year, hey! You moved away from home. You played your first game, two in total. We're in a COVID hub. It's been a big year. Do you still pinch yourself and think, I can't believe I'm in the AFL? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's a weird year, but um, can't complain. Had so much fun, so yeah, it's good. Okay. Yeah, I do pinch myself up. Yeah. Now, you went to the Gold Coast and picked 27, an actual, an actual trade that was swapped live at the draft. Did you know Gold Coast were that interested? Prior to no, I didn't. No, I had no indications going into the night. Wasn't sure at all. Um, yeah, it was all a bit of a blur the whole night, to be honest. It was a slippery slide. I yeah, I was sliding down and then, yeah, I was lucky enough to get picked. Yeah. So, talk us through the moment they called your name. What was that like? What was that feeling like that you had achieved your boyhood dream, but also knowing you were moving, moving into state? Yeah, it was pretty special. Um, yeah. Obviously, wanted to be doing it my whole life, so when I heard it, it was pretty cool. But yeah, it was good. Yeah, it would have been. So yeah. you made the move to Gold Coast. What did you take? I bet you took a surfboard, didn't you? And who did you live yeah. with when you got there? Yeah, I brought my surfboard. Um, I moved in with Dave's follow. Oh yeah, that would have yeah. been a cool. Place. Yeah, it was good. Good fella. Sounds cool. It's always intrigues me as to what that first training session is like. How nervous were you? And which player really took you under their wing? Um, yeah, I was pretty nervous. Um, a bloke called Luke Tully. Uh, yeah, he took me under his wing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. He's, yeah, he's a good fella. But yeah, he took me under his wing and just showed me what to do. Yeah. Besides the draft of, the draft of players that joined you from the draft, who have you bonded really well with since arrival? Uh, like I said, probably Luke Toey. He took me under his wing and um, I've got along with him really well. So I'd probably yeah. have to say him or either Will Powell as well. Yeah, sounds like legend. Sounds like a legend. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're good fellas. Yeah. Now, coming into a new club and moving away is tough enough. What was the preseason like? Were you prepared with how tough it would be and how hard it was? Yeah, good question. Um, no, I, was, I probably wasn't completely ready but um i think mentally i was ready just to like just give it a crack and just just give it up like my all pretty much because I've, I've been training pretty hard prior just to get onto the list and then once i was there i just wanted to give it a red hot crack so yeah yeah you would have now covid has affected everyone in different ways how was hub life did you find it tough being isolated away from the general public life yeah, it was a bit different for sure, but um, I was lucky enough to get back home and spend it with its, spend it with the family, which was good. Um, living a family of six, so it was plenty to do, and um, Perth was pretty good with the restrictions as well. So yeah, couldn't really complain. Eh? Yeah, you can't complain about. That. Okay, so you didn't no, kick no. your first goal. That's okay, mate. Plenty of time. It gives you more time to work on my celebration. Remember, practice makes <laughs> perfect. Exactly, mate. You'll get it this year or well, next year. Hopefully. I'll have to do it for you. Yeah, you have to. Now, <laughs> unfortunately, you didn't get a win in your first year. So, no singing the club song yet. I bet you can't wait for that moment. It won't be long, mate. Your team is looking great and you're a future star. I bet you can't wait for it, though. No, oh, I can't wait. Yeah, I was hopefully hoping for it this year, but it didn't come around. But, like you said, the boys are in... Boys in good shape to win plenty next year, so hopefully I can be a part of it. They're looking like a red hot Gold Coast. Not wrong, mate. Now I've been so excited to talk to you today. What is it? What is being in the AFL football really like? Um, yeah, it's pretty surreal. Like, um, I've obviously wanted to be like be a professional sports my whole life, and now I'm here. It's um, yeah, living my dream pretty much, and um, 
very grateful for the opportunity that the Suns gave you. But yeah, can't fault her with it too much. Like everything about it is just what I love. So um, can't complain. Sounds pretty good. Now you went yeah. to the Gold Coast with my blokes, Matt Rao and Noah Anderson. How are the boys going? Yeah, they're going well. Yeah, Noz and Matt are going fine. They're flying. Um, both had exceptional years. And um, then they're both training pretty hard at the moment as well. Um, Noel went back to Victoria and Maddie stayed up on the Gold Coast. But, um, yeah, they're going fine. Great lads. Yeah, they are. Answer me one question, mate. You are the, you are the deciding vote. Who is the better table tennis player, Matt or Noel? <laughs> oh, it's got to be Rowley, yeah. He's pretty competitive. Yeah, oh, 100%. All right, quick fire questions. Who did you get a little bit starstruck on day one? Um, oh, probably Hugh Greenwood. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah. Best thing about being an AFL player? Um, oh, best thing. I don't know, just playing football is your job. <laughs> that does sound pretty good. Yeah. Do people know you when you walk around town? Uh, yeah, I don't know, sometimes. No, you don't get that much in Goldie, though, no. Have you had many people ask for selfies or autograph when you're out? Yes, if I'm with Will Powell, I do. But, um, yeah, for sometimes. Not, it's not too bad up here, so it's pretty good. We're lucky with that. Huh. Who's the coolest guy in the club? Oh, I'd have to say Luke Toey, champion. Biggest pest you have, to, you, have, you have to give him an interview, mate. He's an absolute champion. Yeah, well, send me. I'll do it. I will. All right. Biggest pest at the club? Oh. Oh. It's got to be Connor Butterick. Who do you room with? I live with Will Powell and Luke Towie. Okay. Well, I can't thank you enough, buddy, for catching up with me. You're an absolute legend, and I can't wait to see you roaming the wing next season. I really appreciate you pulling yourself away from the ocean. I know how hard it can be relaxing at the beach or beside a pool. Not long now, <laughs> mate, and you be back at back to the grind of the preseason. So enjoy, enjoy it while you can. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Remember that celebration next season. You don't want to let a fellow wingman down, do you? Enjoy seeing that club no. somebody after a big win. Uh, you're the man. Cheers, mate. Good to and see tell, you. Tell Will Powell I'd love to interview him and check and check his DMs. Yeah, we'll do. All right. See you, mate. All right. Thank, see you. Right. See ya. Thanks so Bye. much.